Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about organophosphorus poisoning, also called organophosphate poisoning. This is used as an insecticide, but its history is very grave. Once it was used as a weapon of mass destruction, like nerve gas during the world war. Poisoning occurs accidentally due to suicide attempts. Maybe accidentally, maybe by suicide attempts. Poisoning are particularly common in the rural areas of developing countries. Idea is that the organophosphate insecticide is exposed to the to the rural area more than that of the urban area especially in the third world countries millions of people are affected according to world health organization there are many organophosphorus compounds including parathion melathion diagenon So what is the mechanism of action? Okay. We have the acetylcholine that is released from the presynaptic neuron in the synaptic clap that will attach to the postsynaptic receptor for acetylcholine and there will be signal transmission. After a certain time, acetylcholine should be destroyed by acetylcholine ester esterase. So that is the normal mechanism. And this is presynaptic neuron. This is postsynaptic neuron. Maybe a muscle. It may be a skeletal muscle. It may be a neuromuscular junction. Acetylcholine esterase stops signaling processes. After signal has gone, then acetylcholine esterase, this enzyme, will destroy the acetylcholine, which was released from the presynaptic vesicles. So this is normal. What happened in organophosphate or organophosphorus poisoning? What happened? The acetylcholine esterase is not working. And there will be excessive accumulation of acetylcholine. Acetylcholine esterase is blocked by acetylcholine esterase inhibitor, that is the organophosphate insecticide. So it will block the acetylcholine esterase. So acetylcholine will not be broken, it will cause postsynaptic neuron. It will, it will cause signal transmission too much, not normal, more than usual. Okay, then we'll get the sign symptoms of the excessive acetylcholine action. And this picture has been taken from Microsoft PowerPoint Creative Common. On is an online picture, so the credit goes to them. So again, we have excessive acetylcholine that will transmit more than usual signal. Acetylcholine is not destroyed here due to organophosphate poisoning because organophosphate is an acetylcholine esterase inhibitor. Okay, we'll go there. Organophosphorus poisoning or organophosphate poisoning properties and mechanism of action. They have high potential for toxicity, although they do not persist in the environment. Previously, we have the DDT. Those are the chlorine product. DDT, diethyl trichloroethane. Okay. So the DDT is long lasting. Dichlor diphenyl trichloroethane, DDT, it is long lasting but it is less toxic but organophosphate are more toxic 
but it is not lasting as that of the DDT dichlor diphenyl trichlorethane. The phosphorylate, the active esteric site of acetyl choline, is the the phosphor the phosphorylate, that means organ of phosphate phosphorylate, the active esteric sites of acetylcholine esterase, toxic effect result from acetylcholine accumulation. Organophosphate compounds are well absorbed through the skin via respiratory system by inhalation and via ingestion through the gastrointestinal tract. Some organophosphate compounds cause delayed neurotoxicity with motor and sensory disturbances that was seen in Jamaican ginger paralysis during 1930. Some organophosphorus compound may be toxic when it comes in, in contact with some fruit like that of the melon. It was, the melon was toxic in California and New York. So there will be blockage of the acetylcholine esterase. There will be accumulation of excessive acetylcholine at the mascaronic receptor. This is the cholinergic effector sense. At nicotinic receptor, this is the neuromuscular junctions and autonomic ganglia and in the CNS. So we'll get three types of signs symptoms due to mascaronic overactivity, nicotinic overactivity, and CNS action. Permanent inhibition of acetylcholine esterase may occur through covalent binding by the organophosphate to the enzyme. This is known as aging. Signs and symptoms of organophosphate poisoning can be divided into three broad categories. Mascaronic effect, nicotinic effect, and central nervous system effect. Okay, this is a good picture to show the sign symptoms. So we have mascaronic stimulation, nicotinic stimulation. We have also action on the central nervous system. The person who is toxic by getting this organophosphate poisoning, CNS system will be affected. The, the people, the person who got the poisoning will have headache, nausea, dizziness convulsion, even coma. Okay, that is the central nervous system action. How about mascaronic overstimulation? We can remember the mnemonic slurs. All secretion will be high. Salivation from the salivary gland like parotid gland, the submandibular gland, sublingual gland will have more secretion. Lacrimation from the lacrimal gland, urination from the bladder, defecation from the gastrointestinal tract, gastrointestinal crank, and there will be vomiting, that is emesis. So SLAS is the manifestation of muscarinic overstimulation by organophosphate or organophosphorus compounds. Okay, how about nicotinic action? Okay, nicotinic action, there will be tension, weakness and paralysis, okay, there will be weakness, twitching, fasciculation because of excessive neuromuscular stimulation, okay, high blood pressure, paralysis, paralysis, sympathetic stimulation, so dilatory people will be more active, so people will be dilated, will get midriasis, will get high blood pressure, okay, these are due to nicotinic stimulation. So what is the treatment of organophosphorus poisoning? What is the treatment? Okay, we have specific drug and antidote, atropine and pralidoxine. Remember, atropine work on the muscarinic receptor only, not on nicotinic receptors. But pralidoxine reverses the action of organophosphate at both nicotinic and muscarinic receptor. We must maintain ABC, airway, breathing, circulation. We must do decontamination. But 
doing decontamination, healthcare worker and the physician should protect them from direct contact to that of the insecticide organophosphate. Treatment should be started as soon as possible to prevent irreversible inhibition called aging of acetylcholine esterase, which involves strengthening of the phosphorus enzyme bond. Okay. And that's all about the organophosphorus poisoning. So if you have any question, please ask me, share the information with your friends. And I have a book called Toxicology Digest. If you're interested, you may purchase from Amazon. It, is a, it has paper copy and also electronic copy. Okay. And I'll request everyone to support my channel. Please subscribe me and have a nice day. Bye now.